Hello, hello. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. How's everyone doing? All right. <laughs> Forgot to turn on that filter. Jeez Louise. Don't want you to see behind the scenes. How is everyone doing? Welcome back to another Loading Artist comic stream. New comic today. And, uh, apologies if this, if this stream is not just, I mean, cur curtains open 10 minutes late. Though I did start on time. Unless you're in, like, America and Canada. D does Europe, does Europe have the same daylight savings? I don't know. But if you're in America or Canada, or one of the other countries I didn't mention, and you have daylight savings, <laughs> I'm like an hour late. <laughs> but that's... That's, that's not, that's not a me problem. That's a you problem. Actually, it's kind of a me problem because I should have warned you about it. And like, dry race girl. God bless her. She, she tried to warn me. She, she told me in, in the mod chat way in advance. She said, hey, it would be a good idea to mention in advance that because of daylight savings, the stream's going to be an hour later for some people. And I completely forgot to mention it until like half an hour ago. Whoopsies. <clears throat> oh dear. Okay, oh, let me see. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, there's still sleep in my eyes. Oh no. Oh gosh. Okay. Alright. Alright, hold on. Let me get my, my, my brains together. Time to unpose alerts. Thank you, Yoda. Thank you very much. Let's do that. Let's see what we have in the, in, in the chat. We have Janak is standing with a hydrate! And it... Oh my god, what's it? Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! That is... Cursed! I shouldn't be in the center. Like, if I'm, like, here. The peacock is back in business. <laughs> oh god. Oh god! Okay, well, we got, we got hydrate working. That's cool. Uh, thank you, Janakis. I warned everyone and still forgot. Welcome back, Dry Erase Girl, as well. Dry Erase Girl warning me about daylight savings and yet still forgetting. So I, so I should have, I should have, I needed to mention it on Discord, I forgot! But thank you anyways. And, uh, is Valtrum Rata, welcome back. Um... Potion seller? You, what is it? You cannot handle my potions. Could someone please Shut turn off <laughs> the sun? It's been a long time since I've seen that video. <sighs> old, old comic man tries to recreate memes. Extra, extra, read all about it in this newspaper. Guess who's back? Back again. Grigor's back. Don't tell anyone for God's sake. Just keep your mouth shut. I almost... I almost did, and then I was reminded, uh, thank you by the chat, to, uh, to mention that I'm live. I completely forgot to, to do the post as well, so that's there now. Um, thank you, Stroik, by the way. It was your message that reminded me. Gosh. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Man. <laughs> This eye is still very small. I don't know. Now it's an optical illusion. Okay, here we go. Birdie. Thirty-one and going strong. You don't you mean Bertie one? <laughs> Thank you very much for the resub. Welcome back. How are you doing? And hello, everyone in the chat. We got Nick Tafi. We got Yoyoto. We got Strike. Uh, we got Dry Race Girl. We got Wolfie. Chimera. Firefried. Carl Saturo. Uh, Nico Arts. Um, did I say Fire Fry? I think I did. The Power. Excellent. The nine dollar donation. Uh, A.K.A. I hope you like the game. The the, the, the the A.K.A. the Nintendo Switch gift card that the Power was unable to gift me because of I don't know countries. Uh, geographic wars. <laughs> but thank you very much to Power. Yes. Uh, well, remind me, what, what is the game called again that I should buy? I want to call it My Little UFO. 
itty bitty UFO game. Something like that. Part time UFO. Okay, I was close. Thank you very much. I will get it. And maybe I'll stream it. I'll, I'll, I'll have a think about that. I'll have a think about that. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll see. It does look pretty cute. Pretty easy. Something I wouldn't get <clears throat> nauseous and throw up over. Excellent. Thank you very much. And, uh, let's see. Baltrum Rat is here as well. Um, Strike, of course. The Dower. We also have Dragonese, Janakus, of course. I'm Strongville is here. Uh, Maggie's here. Wolfie Woof. Well, oh, there's Strongville. Strongville, three years strong. Excellent. Three years, 36 months? Three years already, Lodwa. Damn. Thank you very much. And Quiet Artist is also here. Hello. And I was gonna say, and also Coffee Streambot, thank you. But that, that was because of the power the power summoned the coffee stream bot into the chat. Uh thank you again for the for the game, the gifted game. And Cole, of course. Can't forget Trap Liver over here. <laughs> How are you doing, Cole? And also scrolling up a little bit more again. I think I've mentioned everyone. Wizard Frag, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Excellent. You're not doing too bad? That's good to hear. Neither am I. And also, neither is this camera. I mean, so far, I mean, I know it's pretty early, early days to, to give it a, to give it a good rating or whatever, but so far it seems pretty good in terms of like delay, network lag and all that. Uh, and that's because we are currently running on the new fancy schmancy router. I got the I got the new router. I got it. I got the new router. I do. I got I forget what it's called, but the Nighthawk something. It looks like it's about to I don't know. Liberate me with democracy. It looks like it's something from the military, honestly. Sitting in sitting in the in the living room on the living room dining room table. And it's like a little it's got the wings that come up and everything. Kind of, it reminds Lee of something from Dune. Something that the baddies would be flying around in. I forget what they're called. Har the Hardukans? No, that can't be it. What is it? What are they called? <laughs> they are called Arrakis. No, I know. Arrakis is the planet. I know that now. After three, four hours of watching the movies. Let's see here. Also, Camaro, congrats on that spider. Also, the predictions are in. I forgot to mention that if you haven't voted already, you should have voted, but... <gasps> no, it's out of the... Oh, no, it's all delayed and everything. Ah, shit. I hope the new... The new rat has been doing well. Okay, well, there... There there it goes. So much for that. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. <sighs> <laughs> well, yeah, it, it it'll require some more um um debugging, troubleshooting, because I, I gotta say, doing the speed tests, Lee, tell you to stop downloading stuff. She's not even here; she's on a walk. So it really, there is really nothing else, unless Pace has suddenly started, you know, set up a Netflix account or something. I don't think anyone else is using the internet. Um, but yeah, doing some speed tests. My speed test. My computer's speed is about the same, if not worse. <laughs> the The download is slightly faster, so it went from like 800 megabits per second to 900 megabits per second. Um, damn! Hold on. Let me pause that story for this message. Can we have drug games before the comic is presented by the Peacock? Nope. By the what now? <laughs> by the Peacock? <laughs> what? I can't even see what the text was because the text is gone. It's not actually saved anywhere because that's from Coffee directly. 
Thank you very much, Walter Murata. Oh my goodness. Two, two Dwarden words. Jeez, Lou, Weez. Okay, well, I'll continue my story while we get into some draw game. Hold on. We'll do, we'll do one draw game, and then we'll reveal, and then we'll do the other draw game. Okay, this song is too slow. Okay, you got one, one minute. Um, what was I saying? Oh, you said my speed test. So before I was getting like 800 megabits down, and now I'm getting like 900 megabits down, which is nice. A small upgrade, but still nice. But the upload, I was getting like 300 and something megabits up, and now I'm getting like 200 megabits up. So that's not good. And look at this camera. This camera is all out of... I'm very disappointed that the camera is still failing to keep up. Surely it's not my router now. I'm very sad. I'm very sad indeed. I'm gonna have to look into this. Into this camera biz. Um... So that's annoying. Also, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on Wi-Fi 6 now. So, the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi thing should be a lot better, which is what the phone is on. My computer, it's irrelevant because I'm, I'm using an Ethernet cable anyway. And, uh... Uh... I did a quick test with the, with the MetaQuest headset to see how it connects with my PC with the PC VR stuff. And that's actually a lot better, so that's good, because the headset's using... Uh, 6 gigahertz network. Extra fast. But... The camera here is still strange, because the... That's another thing, the phone speed test is, like, way better. It's, like, triple the speed. So, I don't know. So now it's, like, what? That is the router, to be honest. Might be the camera, the computer capture card. Stream quality looks fine. Well, it's on the capture card because the capture card is actually capturing only the iPad, which you're not even seeing it. The phone is admittedly using a wireless signal, Wi Fi, to uh, pump into my computer, which I know is like maybe if I just use a cord, this would all be moot. But the cord is like 50 bucks for a good one, and that's like New Zealand. Bucks, by the way, that's like 30 US or something. I don't want to buy no cord, and then the cord has to be long and has to attach to the computer. Oh gosh. The Wi Fi should work! I don't know. But anyway, whatever. Let's see. We got 61 uh, scrolling green words. Let's see which three will be drawing this time. They are. Router, Pharaoh, Cheese. Router, Pharaoh, Cheese. Router, Pharaoh, Cheese. Okay, interesting mix. Very interesting. Excuse me. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. You always want to struggle with throughput, especially upload due to power in your radio environment as you're in a high-density environment, so there's just a lot of Wi-Fi networks in a closed space. Yeah, that, that could also be it. I'm in an apartment building, so there's a lot of 5 gigahertz signals, you know, combating with each other. So maybe it is, maybe it is that. Um, could just be that. Could just be that. So maybe once, like, I don't know, in the future, I'm in, like, the suburbs somewhere, maybe it'll be a lot better. But anyways, seems to be okay for the most part. Um, also, apologies in advance if I fall asleep during the stream. I'm very tired today. No worries, no worries at all, especially because it's an hour later as well, of course. Totally understand, Dry Race Girl. Have a good sleep if you do fall asleep. And, where's my pen? There it is. And... Let's draw this one. So let me bring up my actual pencil as well. 
We'll have five minutes to draw this thing. If you want to draw along, feel free to. I'll make a Discord thread afterwards where you can post and share your one. Uh, but for now, let's watch me draw Router Ferro Cheese. Router Ferro Cheese. For those of you who don't know, Ferro is an Egyptian, ancient Egyptian king. Hmm. Okay. Download more RAM. Where does the sound come from? If it's a different source, it could be the phone Wi-Fi. Maybe a cord isn't the worst idea. Sound? Oh, the sound comes from, yeah, a USB microphone to the computer. Sound is not coming from the phone. The phone is just a visual. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, um, I'm just looking up some reference images. I should know what a router looks like at this point. I've, I've, made, I've done a ton of research. Okay. Let's... Let's... Wizard Frag using that Prime sub. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Excellent. Just want to see your guy again. Sweet. You can actually customize the look of your guy now as well because you're because you're a sub. Um, I forget if there's a command for it, but if you go to loadingartist.com slash was it character? I can't even remember what it was. But he is perfect. That's true. That is true. Don't forget now that you're a sub, you also have access to bonus panels and plucked up comics in the Discord for you. Okay, all right, let's, let's begin, let's begin, let's begin. Starting. Starting. Starting now. This will be a good warm-up before the comic. So after this, throw the words, we'll be doing the comic, don't worry. Color it in. Do 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 I know it's a little fuzzy, but yada yada, you know, you know why. It'll look nicer once we're done. Do, 
Uh, what is it? What is it? I don't even remember what, what the Wi-Fi signal icon looks like. Or is it the bar? Maybe let's do this. Just do the bar thing here. Nah, that's that's data, isn't it? It's not. It's not Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is the little curvy one. And whatever. Maybe that's maybe that's this Egyptian's problem. Like he's, he's using the router to try and connect to the cellular network. What an idiot. Also, there's probably a way you can use the router to connect to the cellular network. I know, I'm probably the idiot here, but who cares? Whatever, I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, I don't know. You get the gist. Or should I say, you get the chist. One minute left. And let's also do some stand in the background as well. <laughs> and why not some sky as well? Why not? All right. Done. Done, 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 done. Eh, eh, eh. Cool, just a, just a little bit of shadow. Okay. Router Faro cheese. Pretty good cheese pyramid, right? Faro. He's using the router to try and get better cellular network on his whatever the reception of his phone. Uh, based on a true story. This is a photograph of me in, in Dubai. <laughs> me and my uprising and uprising upbringing. Sorry. Whoops. Shouldn't say that too loud. <laughs> Being a witness protection and everything. My human child upbringing in Dubai. This is me. Here we go. All right. Let me export. Eh. Uh... Wait, what am I doing? Oh, whoops, wrong button. Okay. Righty ho. Okay. It's in the Discord now. I'm making the thread. Post yours. So if you've made your own version, do that. <gasps> so here it is. It's on Discord. In the meantime, I'm just going to save this in my other folder. Router Ferro Cheese. I always mistype Ferro. Okay, great. All right. Let me also read chat a bit. Oh. And the dry rays go, since Dak isn't here yet, router, I hardly know her. I'd like to VPN tunnel through her Wi-Fi signals. I think those are some right, I think those are the right words. I've looked at a lot of like Wi-Fi router settings recently, so it's all still fair and still current in my head.
cheese turnip. Oh, let's see. Oh my goodness, what do we got here? We got a few AI ones from Yodo. What do these look like? They look like this. Okay, so Lola Bunny comforting other Lola Bunny who's eating cheese. Classic thing that hot rabbits do. Uh, seems like there's a poster in the background of a pharaoh or something that says cheese. And uh, Lola Bunny's currently installing the blue screen of death McDonald's style or something. I don't know what's going on. What are the three words again? Router, pharaoh, cheese. Oh, I see. That's the, oh, that's the router. <laughs> we also have this one. Oh my goodness. Uh, sexy pharaoh Lola Bunny. Lola pharaoh. With a handful of melted cheese. And can't get into the room where a small Lola Bunny is eating a lot of cheese. La res cast to cheese? So weird. So strange. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Love it. And this one as well. Little comic here. Four panel comic. Little bunny. Wobbling the cheese. Another pretty... That's a pretty cool, like, Egyptian pharaoh space jam outfit that she's got going on. <laughs> pretty good. Third panel is, I don't know, a phone at the gym? Loam cheese. Great. I don't know. Looks good, Yoda. Thank you very much. And uh, following AI, some from Weltram Rata. Let's just have a quick peek here. Make sure there's no nothing too lewd or anything like this. We got this one, Pharaoh. Made out of cheese, next to a router. Perfect. That was actually going to be my first idea, making the actual Pharaoh out of cheese. But I thought that sounds too hard. I'm not going to do that. What's easier? Oh, the pyramid's an easy shape. That could be cheese. That's, that was my, my, my thought process. Excellent. Next up, we also have this one. I don't like that this looks like Bugs Bunny just drilled himself some nipples in his cheesy body. Disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, here's a rat made out of cheese. And a pharaoh is about to dig in. All right. Perfect. Okay. Oh, wait, there's one more. That's right. Yeah. Te technically, the AI limit is three, but I understand sometimes doesn't Dali like spit out four every time? Let's say three or four. Um, but yeah. Not bad. Probably not good for the router to have some, a block of cheese on, on top of it. In fact, speaking of a big block of cheese blocking the vent of a router, I'm worried that Pace is going to sleep on the on the new router you know because it might be warm from the vent and it's like shaped like a place the cat might want to sleep on so i'm a little worried about that but so far so good but then again it hasn't been very cold recently so we'll see pace is not a cheese oh the vet will beg to differ we took pace to the vet recently just for like a routine a vaccine against cat flu and uh the vet also weighed pace and she said that Paste was getting a little chunky and should not be eating so many bickies. Uh, yeah, she, she weighed her, she's, Paste is 6.66 kgs. I know. <laughs> I always knew that Paste was the spawn of the devil. And now I have confirmation. 6.66 kgs is how much Paste weighs. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Let's get out of here. All right. Comic time. Pause. Marie. Haven't been here in a while. Load give higher, everyone. Hey, a full year as well. Thank you so much, Marie. Welcome back. And thank you for the full year of support. How have you been? Um, hold on, I'm just getting the comic together. Just getting the comic ready. Um, just realized I haven't actually finished sketching it. <laughs> uh, I've got the rough sketch done. And most of the final sketch, but... Hold on, I'm just going to... Reveal the parts that I haven't done yet. You'll see what I mean. It's all good. 
No worries. You won't even you won't even tell. Can't even tell. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. The comic is here. Okay. All righty. Oops. No. I'm just gonna stand. I'm just gonna sit over here. Okay. Excuse me. So. <clears throat> You'd like a loan for a home. Here are our financials. Wait, hold on, I just realized I'm not supposed to be in this. There we go. That's right. Full immersion. So you like a home loan for a home. Here are our financials. I see. Well, based on these numbers, there is one house you can afford. This one. There we go. Dong. Bow, 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 do, 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 do. Anyway, this, I, okay, I have not, I have not really, uh, polished this part of the stream with the iPad, um, as you can see. Uh, oh, you know what? I think it's pretty much, oh, you know what? It's, it's, all I gotta do is really just add this color key filter. That's all that I'd have to do here, but uh, it's going to be more of a problem, isn't it? Uh, uh, nah, you know, it's, 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 screw it, screw it, whatever, it doesn't matter. doesn't matter. There it is. There is the, the comic. I'm going to put myself back into the screen. Oop, here I am. Um, but yeah, six panels, by the way, is the... The comic length, six panels. So let's see who the winners are of this week's predictions. I'm going to just choose prediction outcome. Six panels. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. You like, you like them long lately, huh? Why does that sound so sexual? Yeah, I haven't had a four panel comic in a while. You're right. It's it's been pretty consistently six panels for like the past this entire year so far, right? Has this whole year been six panels? Oh no, the first one was four panels and then four panels and then four okay. Okay, it's really just the last two. <laughs> it's just the last two that have been six panels. Never mind. Um oh technically though, no, the other one was seven panels. That's right. That's right, that's right. It was a seven panel, then a six panel, and now it's a six panel again. Anyway, let's see the results. These are the winners. The winners. All right, only five of you predicted six panels because this, I'm sure this is the, th the thought process for most of you. You're like, there's no way, there's no way Loading Out is gonna do another six panel comic this week. There's no way. He's far too lazy to, to keep doing six panel plus comics He's got to drop down to four again, because that's like the sweet spot usually. But no, Madman in a Box, Nina Cortex, Uber Squash, Quiet Artist, and Big White Bear all were like, no, no, no. Loading Artist is keeping it up. He's, he's a mad dog. He's a hard worker. He's going to do a six panel comic, and you are right. And, you know, you are rewarded for that optimism. So Big White Bear risking 10,001 bees, winning back nearly... 44,000 bees! Goodness me. Goodness me. And now, couldn't have winners without losers, so let's look at the losers. No one voting for one panel. Uh, Zol voting for two panels. Nick Tafi, oh my goodness. <laughs> Nick Tafi, 10,000 bees! Guessing a three panel comic. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. If that would be nuts, that would be absolutely nuts. You know what, though, Nick Duffy? Uh, even if you, had you had you maybe I shouldn't even say this, but 
correct me if I'm wrong, but had you risked only one B, you would have, and you won. No, had you risked one B, and you you won with three panels, you would have earned the same amount as you would risking ten thousand Bs. Right? If you're the only if you're the only person betting three panels. <laughs> Nick Tafia, I always bet 10,000. Used to be four. I have so many Bs. Oh, man. That's what it must be like to be rich. You're reminding me of when I like, when I go to the casino just to like look at people. I like to, people watch at the casino sometimes. There's like a nice little balcony. You can like look down on people. Anyway, there's this blackjack table that I think is like $100 minimum. And it's just amazing that people just go there. They put like $500 on one. They lose it instantly. And they're like, whatever. Here's another $500. It's just mind-boggling to me that <laughs> that you can be at that point where $500 willy-nilly is nothing. That's crazy. Anyways, four panels. A lot of losers in here. Uh, Sinag, Do Like a Channel, Yoyoto, Chimera, Mrs. Muffin, Dry Race Girl, Curl Satura, and Dower. Dower, 4,444 bees. Would have been lucky if you were right, but you're wrong. Five panels. A lot of you here as well. Fire Fry, Walter Morata, Wolfie, Maggie, Dragonese, Strongville, and Cole. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Um, you know, almost could have been a five-panel comic this week, but I, I decided to go with six. Seven panels got the power. So the power's the power's got the the right uh, strategy here. Risking low, but being the only, the only uh. player in the game, you know, you'd win it all. Oh, what the crap? The Yoda has found 440 spiders breaking through my paused alerts thingy. I see. Yeah, I still need to fix that. There is a new version of Streamer Bot that came out yesterday. I have not updated yet, but I'm going to look into it and hopefully I can fix some stuff. And no one in A plus panels. All right. Okay. Thank you very much for playing, everyone. Update now, right on stream. Hell no. I got six panels I gotta... I got six panels I gotta draw. I don't have time to, to break my overlay at the same time. <laughs> Thank you very much for participating in the predictions. Now let's get to work. What is that? Oh, I uh, a VLC because uh, I wanted to take a screenshot for the going. I'm live, you know, whatever post. So I had to quickly in the intro jump over here, take a short recording, take a screenshot, and post that. <laughs> this is a good song. Wait, why is Oh, I have nothing never mind. Oh yeah, we have one more draw of the Moors game as well. Thank you for the reminder, Yoyoto. Goodness me. This is not Elvis, this is actually Dion. The Wanderer by Dion. But yeah, we do have Dwarven Words, so let's jump into that. Dragonese gotta go. Don't have enough time to be here. I right, have a good one, Dragonese. Take care. Thank you for dropping by. Or should I say, thank you for dragon by. <laughs> All right. You've got one minute, Andrew. Also remind me about the uh, Dwarven Words. And also, hey, Andrea. Hello, hello. Let's see, dry raise girl, dry raise girl. Oh yes, right above, right above your Yoda's. I could, I still couldn't find it, but it was right above your Yoda's one. Whoops. <laughs> still, I still couldn't even see it. Looking for it. Goodness me. Well, thank you to dry raise girl and Yoda for the reminder about the draw them words that we still have to do.
the wanderer. I'm the wanderer. Catchy song. Okay. All right. Smile. You're on camera because, wait, that made it sound like camera is the word, but smile is the word. Anyway, smile. We got 45 words to smile about. Um, let's see. The three ones we're drawing this time are golf, wanderer, hiding. Three of the same sound effect as well. Golf, wanderer, hiding. Golf, wanderer, hiding. Wanderer, wanderer. Round, round. What is wonder? It's a person that wanders around. A person who travels aimlessly. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay, well, we'll have one... Well, sorry, we'll have five minutes to draw this. If you want to draw along, feel free to. I'm going to make a Discord thread afterwards. Yada yada, you know the drill. Let's get into it. Statting. Statting. Starting. Starting now. I can't play the Wanderer song again, even though it's very appropriate, but I'll play this other one from the same person, Dion. Starting now. Whoa, 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 Do 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 no 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 And some shading, some dark shading. And then also do some dimples. So dimples look like doot, doot, doot. it's not gonna look this intense. Oh god, I know the dimples are supposed to be uniform, but I just don't know how to draw dots. Apparently now, that looks looks like a golf ball has a like a flea infestation. What was that previous song? Oh, this one? 
Uh, it's Ren, AOL Nation. Actually, I'll keep this one. Lightning striking all over the world. There's lightning striking all over the world. It's a human being song. Oh, no, 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 no. The human being song is a different song, but this also says similar words. I think? Or am I completely wrong? Oh, no, the one before that. Oh, that was run a... Yeah, people in the chat already mentioned it. Run Around Sue by Dion. That looks okay. Alright, and let's add another nice blue sky again. This time we'll add some clouds too, why not? Didn't have any clouds before in that Egyptian one because they didn't have clouds back then in the ancient Egypt. They weren't invented yet. And let's also remove some of the shading on the sweat, maybe? Emphasize the sweat. Maybe some sweat is literally jumping out of this ball. Which makes no sense physically, but whatever. Time's up now. There we go. Golf Wanderer Hiding. So, it's a golf ball that's hiding, and the person looking for it is wandering around, trying to find it. Wandering aimlessly, because he's not walking the right way. His aim is off. He's got no aim. See? 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 It makes sense. I think. Let's export. Is that golf ball sweat? I just thought that that could have made it good. A bindle on the golf stick. Oh. A bindle, like the little spotted bags that people take with them when they go off somewhere. Not a bad idea. But it's too late now. Alrighty, it's in the Discord now, and you can make, you can post yours now, if you have any. It's there. In the meantime, I'm just going to save this. Make sure I'm going to skip the song. I don't really like that part of the, of the song anyway. Golf Wonder Hiding. Um, Fizzbolt is typing. Let's see. Wizard frag. Not that it's not good already, by the way, just the way it is in my head. No, that's a good idea. The bindle is, is a nice touch. Hey, oh my god. When you, when you look up from the sketch and notice the similarities. Look at this. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? Isn't that nuts? It wasn't coughing, I swear. Oh, I believe you, Fizzbolts. That is a crazy coincidence. It even looks like you've made the golf aware brown. But I think, although I think that's red. Is that a red crayon? I don't know. But red is a shade of brown. So it kind of works. Same kind of golf putting instrument. Same bush, same composition. Got the golfer on the left, push on the right, golf ball in the shadow. Pretty sweet. Awesome. 
Thank you very much, Fizzbots. Same brainwave. <laughs> what are the odds? It just it just goes to show that this is like the quintessential the quintessential depiction of these three words. It's like when you draw a house and you draw a house with the little triangle roof and then the little plus windows, you know? The <laughs> Yoda's typing. Let's see? Also, Dry Erase Girl, that's pretty much what I, what, what I would have done. Well done. Thank you very much, Dry Erase Girl. Oh, okay, so here come the AI uh, submissions. There is a hidden spider in all of them. It would be funny if I didn't put a spider in one of them and you keep looking for it. That wouldn't be funny at all. That would be cruel. And how dare you find my spiders while threatening to, <laughs> to keep yours all to yourself. Let's see. Starting with this one. There's a spider in this? Jesus Christ. No, there... There's a spider here? Wait, how small is this spider? Do I have to, like, zoom in? It's as big as Lola's eyes. What? Huh? Am I blind? I can't see the spider anywhere. Like... Oh, wait, no, I see it. 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 Very, very, very... I'm gonna blame my monitor on this one. It's very subtle. Cheating, if anything. The, it's a big spider, and if no one can see... Oh, okay, on this on this screen, I can totally see it. Yeah. Here it is. <laughs> Alright, next one. Uh, I found the spider. Oh, little bunny's got a third leg falling out of her pants. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Spoiler alert. Found it. That's a cute little bunny. Looks like she's using a cat toy. Like this, wait, is this supposed to be a golf stick? A golf club? But with the ball is attached with a string? It's like a golf club for for beginners or something. <laughs> and, I mean, okay, well that one's... I, only, I saw the spider first before anything else. I didn't even see the little bunny before the spider. And we got some angry golfers off camera throwing the clubs. <laughs> Excellent. All right. And uh, let's go. Here is some Weltram Rata AI ones. <laughs> so this is like the last image that some children will see, you know, this, with this infamous bunny killer. Terrifying. I don't even know. Is, is Bugs Bunny chomping on like some rope here? I don't know what's going on. With this, with this section here. Get this one as well. <laughs> and then I guess super realistic version as well. Cute little bun bun. <laughs> this is so ominous. Oh my god. First of all, who... I don't think... Are you even allowed to play golf in the rain? I don't think you are. Is that illegal? No, I'm, I don't know if it's illegal, but I don't think it's... I think it's frowned upon. No, not not the rain, but um, a storm, thunderstorm. Because the golf clubs are metal. Don't they get electrocuted? Or am I just thinking of like cartoons? I think it's dangerous. I don't, I'm not sure. Then again, they do have a rubber grip. But yeah, very cute, very ominous. Good job, Maltrum Rata. I was thinking, I was thinking the exact scene, uh, oh, there's a rope there, here for some reason. In this one, I was just thinking Space Jam. Anyways, we got Anria. What is going on here? Golf Wanderer hiding. Oh, it's a golf car. 
what are they call it a v is it a vw golf is vw golf I think it is. I can't remember which which car company owns the golf brand. It is VW. Okay, sorry. A VW golf car and there's a Wanderer hiding behind it. And you can clearly see it's Wanderer. It's got a backpack. It's got a little cane. <laughs> Love it. Good job, Andrea. Yeah, VW golf. I have one. Volkswagen golf. Nice. I looked at the golf cars when I was thinking of which car to get for my first car. Um... But then, only the, I only like to look at the new golf cars. The old ones, I don't like to look off so much. <laughs> and so I went with a, an old Toyota instead. Are they expensive, the new ones? I, well, new cars in general are always expensive, so I just assume. <laughs> if there's a W in the abbreviation, it's usually quicker to say the full name. Oh, because W is always longer than, like, wagon. Unless you say dub. V-dub. Anyways. Thank you, everyone. Awesome, awesome, awesome submissions. Let's get out of here. Okie dokie. What are we doing? Oh, okay, let me bring, get the iPad over. And get the setup again. Change over to iPad scene. Here we go. <laughs> Oh yeah, I should really um move that toward the words picture. It would be better suited over here, huh? Uh, let me just temporarily do this by hand. Then jump back. Oh no. <laughs> now it's in front of the, the bar. Oh gosh. Let's just uh bring it down a bit. Oh, now it's in front of my face. I don't want that either. You know what? Get out of here. Very good comic. Couldn't say it before. Super funny. Well, 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 thank you very much. Thank you very much. Glad you like the comic. Um, um, whoops, wrong pen. I, I like it as well. And, uh, yeah, the part I didn't finish doing a final sketch of is actually the, the doodle. The actual house doodle part, which I guess makes sense. You don't really want to draw that too, too detailed, like anyway. Uh, but then this whole like moving truck and stuff. This is like part of the rough, rough sketch, not the final sketch. Um, tier two subs and patrons get to see all that behind the scenes stuff, like time lapses and whatnot. Also, speaking of gosh, can we have paste, little paste, baby? I'll see where paste is. And listen, even if your comic is shit, I will say it's good. It's not the compliment you think it is. <laughs> That's true. Thank you for completely uh, destroying all your compliment credibility <laughs> this whole time. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you, everyone. Um, um... Let's get paste. Before I get into the, get into the flow of things, may as well bring paste.
here's my paste. <laughs> Thank you. Oh gosh. Eh. Oh, our 6.66 kg baby. Oh no. Hold your breath. Face looks so mad. Put a face in the middle. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Big nose paste. One sec. All righty. What? All right. One second. Hold on. Oh gosh. Hey, your man, champ, catching that spider. All right. Let's get the um, underground camera. Oh wait. Oh. Paste is gone. Paste is out of here. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that was short lived. I'm just going to give back Exocomics her chair. Yeah, Jay, gotta say it's shame that you won't watch me like come on Jay. Here we 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 here
Yeah, these are these eyes don't actually have to close properly because I'm actually going to get rid of the upper part of the eye. Anyways. Actually, no, that, that one's okay. Uh, I might get rid of the top. But I, I've been liking not closing the upper eyelid so much so that it looks more fleshy and then only the part where the actual the white of its eye is like its own shape, if that makes sense. See what I mean? Let's make this eyebrow look a little bit better too. Oh, a fruit petted. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, camera is refusing to get all of it. There's a the fruit. We got orange, uh, peach, and banana. Love and care on a platter. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Mm -mm -mm. Was the fact it's bedtime here? Thanks for the stream. Hey, well, thank you for watching and thank you for the sub. Take care and I'll see you in the. Uh, well, see you tomorrow maybe. Or the day after that. Or in the Discord. Huh? Do you want to try any of these? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, thank you. XCOM just handed me some contraptions. Uh, as pretend, because the iPad's quite, even though I have a little iPad case, it's still quite flat on the table. And um, I'm looking for something that'll raise the iPad up a little bit more. Kind of like the Cintiq, really. Um, yeah. We do have a Sketchboard Pro. I mean, Lee has a Sketchboard Pro. And that's really useful, but I'm going to get my own one eventually, but I think they're just not in stock or something. I'm waiting for the new one. Is this going to... Is that going to work? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks... That works pretty well, actually. Oh, yeah. It's just, it's raised my iPad, like, 45 degrees angles. It used to be, like... The iPad was, like, this. And now it's like, now it's like this. I think it works quite nicely. Doesn't mean I have to like, it means I don't have to, you know, look straight down so much. Even your bananas cut up for you? Oh, how loved you are? I know, yeah. Into bite-sized pieces. And it's seedless too. Mm-hmm. The power. I also hope you like the music of the game. I was whistling that shit for weeks. Of the uh, part-time UFO game? Interesting. What kind of music would you say it, it's like? I'm, I'm picturing it to be like kind of um, What's that genre of music? Bit? Bit? Bit something? Bit tunes? Oh, it's whistling. Most of the soundtrack is the same song remixed. Oh, yeah. Chip, or chip tune. 8-bit chip tune is what I was thinking of. Also, Nikolai, Smallwood, hello, hello. The main theme is literally a guy whistling. Huh. That sounds pretty interesting. Yeah, I, I'm keen to try it out. Um, Exocomics recently... Started playing a game on the Switch called uh, Haven Park. It's very cute. 
X Comics immediately started crying. Because <laughs> of how cute the game is. It's a, it's a lot like a short hike, if anyone knows that game. I don't want... I do, you don't have to stream it, by the way. I don't want to press you. All good. Appreciate that to power. I'll, I'll see. Maybe, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Oh, here's a question. How long is um, the UFO game? Because yeah, based off the video and stuff, I think it'd be pretty fun to stream. Seems like a nice chill kind of game. Uh, might be good for those streams where I don't really know what else to do. <laughs> oh. Uh... Let's go with... Uh, this song is pretty intense, but it's been on my mind a little bit because it's, it's in the new Daft Punk Beat Saber pack. It's a Daft Punk live remix between Around the World and Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger. It, it, it goes hard in the game. Maybe I'll stream that again sometime as well. Especially now that the... Uh, the network is potentially better because of the new router. Trying to study the song so you can finally beat it hard. Exactly. Exocomics, she beat the song on the first go, on Expert. And then I come in with a, an undeserved amount of cockiness and enthusiasm and optimism. Could not beat it. I tried it three times now, cannot beat it. Meanwhile, Exocomics is like beating her previous scores every time she tries it. But I know I know her secret. I saw it. I watched I watched her beat the song once, and I found out her her sneaky sneaky secret to winning these songs in Beat Saber. She breaks her wrists, like constantly. The amount of snapping I hear from her wrists is insane. Because I don't think she's aware of how many times her wrists are snapping because of the, the the loud music. But man, it was like. I don't know, it was like listening to, I don't know, an elephant roll around on bubble wrap. That's how, that's how, that's how much snapping I was hearing from the wrists. And they were just like bending in ways I had never seen before. And I think that's the secret trick. Because I don't think I use my wrists very much when I'm playing Beat Saber. It's more of, a, I do it more from the elbow. I'm trying to get that, that tennis elbow style, you know? But yeah, oh, even doing this now, I feel like it's, The power. I don't know why I don't like Daft Punk. It just isn't for me. That's fair. I mean, not everything is for everyone. And to be fair, to be honest, like I'm not really a big Daft Punk fan usually. But I think playing these songs in Beat Saber, it just it it meshes really well, and so I like it a lot more because of that. Otherwise, I would normally find it quite repetitive. I mean, you could say, then why are you listening to it now if you're not playing Beat Saber? But again, it's because I'm trying to practice. <laughs> trying to get my brain to figure out the song so I can beat it finally.
do 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 it's nice to know all the lyrics as well. Big white bear. Oh yeah, and this and this song gets insane. I, I I've I've gotten like ninety five percent through the song before losing. I lose in the last ten seconds. It gets so hard because it gets so fast. This is it's this part. This is the part that I always fail it. And the big white bear. Do you next comic share the same account on the Oculus, or do I need to search for her too? What do you mean search for her? What's going on? <laughs> You mean like on Beat Saber to see like the scores and stuff? Because I'm not sure if our scores save in the global Beat Saber database because we play in party mode, so we only see each other's scores. Yeah, see how this is where I would lose. Bam! Right here in the song. This is what I look like sweat just shooting out of my face. Part of it's just crying with tears. Oh, man. Oh, and also, sorry, I completely missed your messages before to power. Ask, I asked you all these questions and I forgot to read the answers. Um, the, the game, the UFO, part-time UFO is short. It's like a 24 short levels or something. It also has an endless mode where you try to stack as many objects as possible. Oh, kind of like the opposite of Tetris. And an adventure mode, which I haven't tried. That sounds fun. Yeah, I think I think I became the streamer. Sounds nice and chill. <laughs> well, I say that now, but then I'm remembering that. The trailer some more and it it actually sounds and looks really aggravating and really frustrating trying to balance stuff together but i look forward to trying it out hmm i actually quite like the sketch version of this ponytail here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to steal it instead. Same with the eyelashes. Still don't know my name. Still don't know my name. I think this looks pretty good, line out wise. Let me have a quick. Yeah, it's a little slanty. Let's fix the angles of these chairs a bit. Uh, overall. Maybe make this a little less thick, the mouth. Ah! Hmm. 
a little bit more thick on the bottom lip. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, let's see. But oh, I say big white bear. To find on Oculus, to follow friends, etc. For Oculus, possible to play against each other or see scores. Oh, I see, I see. Um, I don't even know what my name is on the Oculus. I assume it's. Actually, I don't know what it is. Is it loading artist? I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you on that one, big white bear. I haven't actually, I haven't added anyone, or even looked at my profile, on the on the Rift. Mm, not the rift, sorry, the quest. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Exit comments, why can't houses be a few dollars instead of a few million dollars? A million million dollars? Yeah, a million dollars is pretty standard for a house here. Yeah, it's crazy how expensive it's gotten here in New Zealand. I mean, a million New Zealand dollars. But for like a basic, like a nice basic house, you're looking at like a million dollars New Zealand. That is what, Camara, 614,000 US? It is nuts. I remember like, it was like half the price of of that like ten years ago. Six hundred forty thousand US dollars? That's a whole lot of subs. Yeah, how many subs would that technically you have to have to earn a house every every month? That'd be pretty cool. A new house every month. That's that should be my new goal. Six hundred fourteen thousand divided by how do I do this? 2.5? Oops, I didn't even... Oh, Jesus. Okay, hold on. 614,000 divided by $2.5. The average cut I get from a standard sub. So I would need 245,600 subs to earn a house every month. <laughs> We should have bought a house when we were babies. I know it would have been like ten dollars or something back then. Should have bought a house instead of a Kit Kat. Damn those Kit Kat chunkies. My two bedroom, one bath home was less than two hundred thousand dollars three years ago. U.S. I guess. Two hundred thousand dollars U.S. How much is that in New Zealand? 200,000 USD to NZD. That is 325,000 New Zealand dollars. 325k dollar house. Oh man. $225,000 New Zealand it would get you such a little shack of a house. It would have to be like currently on fire to be sold for that low. There would actually have to be fire and flames in the, photo in the photos that the real estate agent puts up. For the house to be sold for that low. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Hold on. I'm finding it hard to draw on the screen because the screen is so bumpy with all my spit. I need to give it a quick clean. He'd be spitting facts. <laughs> exactly. Hey, everyone, everyone spits. I mean, I don't know if it's spit. Maybe it's. Nah, it's spit. I'm trying to think of alternatives, but the alternatives are worse. <laughs> there we go. See what that was like. Ooh, smooth. 
Save that spit, bottle it, sell it. <laughs> where do you think we where do you think we are right now, Exocomics? Arrakis? No one's no one's buying my spit, my bottled spit. Congrats on the spider. Strike. Kimara, are they expensive? Are houses expensive because you're in Auckland? Or are there, are there affordable homes in suburban areas? Or is it all the same? Oh man, it's all the same. I mean, Auckland is definitely the mo more expensive. Um, probably the most expensive region in New Zealand. But even other places. I mean, if you go really, really, really small, like not even a McDonald's small, then you can get definitely cheaper houses there. But then you live in a place that, you know, has like 12 people in it. And then that sounds way too intimate for me. Actually, I can't, I can't use this metal thing. It's too slippery, actually. All good. We will most likely move out of Auckland. Yeah, yeah. Which I don't mind. I, I wouldn't... I've been in Auckland for... Like, almost 20 years. I wouldn't mind a change of scenery. How's the internet in other places? Um, yeah. Pretty good, I think. I would assume. I mean, that's definitely... Anywhere we move, my first requirement is... Can you get fiber? And then the second requirement, is it on fire? Ah, this is hard to draw for some reason. Come on, give me a good eye. There we go. Come on. Oh, so that looks okay. Okay, I like this a bit thicker. Oops. Eh. Just want to show multiple pages so that it looks like it's stapled together. I mean, it's not important to have multiple pages, but I think it's just like a nice little detail. Oh, come on. <laughs> Why is it so bad looking? Why won't you connect? Come on, connect. There we go. Now it looks too thick. Sometimes having too many options, like too many tools is bad because now I'm just stressing about the tiniest little details because I can change it technically. I'm talking about the, the line thickness here. Like if I didn't have that ability, I'd just be like, oh, well, good enough move on but because i can change it and perfect it i feel like i'm just constantly wasting time and then making it worse sometimes okay that looks all right i'm, gonna, I'm just gonna <laughs> my name is f you can also call me foxtrot okay well F Foxtrot, Foxtrot, welcome. How you doing? Let's see. Let me read some chat that I missed out on. Uh... 
How expensive are Japan houses? I guess we'd have to ask Komakoto when he's here, but Japan is expensive to live in. I remember, yeah, we looked it up once just to, just to like float in the, the idea of like temporarily moving to Japan for a few months because that's how long the visa allows for. But man, it would cost so much just to live anywhere. Gregor will literally live in a cardboard box as long as it has fiber and a place for the TV. I wouldn't even need the TV anymore. Now that I got the headset. So just the fiber is fine. <laughs> you know, cardboard, you know, cardboard is very underrated. Keeps the sun out. Time to go buy a, a one euro home in Italy. The only catch is you have to preserve and restore it, but it seems like a bargain compared to everything else. I saw that, yeah. Selling those old Italian houses for one euro each. But yeah, there's, obviously there's a catch. You have to restore it and stuff. I mean, those old stone houses, I mean, that doesn't sound like it gets fiber, so I'm out. I feel like when people say just move to rural slash suburban areas, uh, they are the same thing, both oversubsidized by cities. They don't understand why people want to live in urban areas. I mean, to be honest, I don't mind living in the suburbs. I, I'm, I'm not like a, even though I'm living in the city right now, I'm not like a city slicker. In fact, sometimes I hate the city. <laughs> City's gross. And I'm, I'm not really making the use of like the nightlife here. You know, being out at the clubs all night and then just walking home. Like, that is not my, uh, my thing at all. If anything, my thing is complaining when it's loud. So that's, that's really not what you want to have to prioritize when living in the city, because it's always loud in the city. Like, did you know that cranes, that, that construction cranes, have a horn? I don't know why. But man, they are blasting that shit. Every time they move the crane, they're, they're... Is there traffic in the air? What's going on? <laughs> Why do they got horns at construction cranes? It's ridiculous. And it, like, it wakes me up because it's goddamn 7 in the morning or 8 in the morning, whatever that. But still, it's so annoying. It's, it's to warn everyone to not stand under the crane. Well, then shouldn't the horn be ground level? Why is the horn being blasted from the crane? It just, it just permeates through the entire city. It should just be ground level, like car or something. Or just like a little loop, you know, voice that says, hey, watch out, crane is moving, crane is moving. <laughs> Anything but a giant horn in the sky. Sane. And how often do crane things drop stuff anyway, really? They're wearing the hard hats. Should be fine, I think. Also, thank you for the urine. Oh, the power. Sorry, I missed your link. Hold on. Oh, man, I'm missing so much chat. Sorry. I, I read one bit of chat and then I go off on a whole tangent. And then I completely missed the next 20 lines. Let's see here. Foxtrot, you also, I'm gonna keep talking and nobody explodes. Modded module maker. What's a modded module maker? You can add, I've never played the game. Although people keep telling me that I should, and I should play it with Exocomics. Sounds stressful. Let's see this link to power. Let's see, what is this? How much for the bucks? I'll pay 50,000. For this location, I'll pay 100,000. 200,000. Cardboard box market is brutal. Box ownership is a fantasy. 
<laughs> Classic Levenstein. Good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> it's a nice looking box. Got a little, what is that, magnetic tape? That's some high quality shit. Um, yeah, go, go. That's also me. But I also like the option to just go do something without driving. And weirdly, I much preferred cycling in cities. Like, there are a lot more cars, but there are less blind corners, and they are often moving slowly. That's true. I mean, personally, I would I hate the idea of cycling on the road no matter where, but definitely I feel like inner city streets, people are more aware of pedestrians and cyclists and stuff. I find it insane how, how fast people drive in the suburbs. Like, especially when it gets... Like, it's insane that... That there even has to be road signs that tell you to slow down or go to go to 30k. Because it's like, when you're driving in the suburbs and there's like cars parked on either side of the road and you're just going through, like, the chances of like a, a cat or a kid or someone like appearing is like so high in the suburbs. How are you, how are you just zooming through it? You can't see shit because the cars are parked there. It, it, it really like freaks me out that people think they can just drive through that fast. Meanwhile, I'm driving, I'm like looking left and right, looking left and right. Insane. <laughs> the power hey, the other day I tuned to one of his streams and he recognized your emotes. Oh nice the power, yes. Love and seeing yeah. Love and seeing also streams, so give give him a follow. If you haven't already. I think this twitch is twitch.tv slash Mr. Levenstein. I think. In fact, let's do a shout out thingy. I feel like we only do shout outs when it's a, a raid, but I'm going to actually go here. Go above and beyond. Unknown command shout. Okay, I've completely forgotten how any of this works. Shout out. I think that's the one. Yes. Um, oh, let me read some more chat. Chimera <clears throat> uh, uh, says, that's rubbish. Either stay urban where everything is expensive or move out of town and divert the money to car ownership. Garbage choice, in my opinion. Exocomics. It's not as bad here. I want to live in the suburbs. There's usually a little shopping hub within walking distance so I can walk, still walk to get groceries, go to the post office, etc. Um, that's true. Most of the U.S. Chimera. Most of the U.S. deprioritizes public transport at all costs. Sounds like you have a middle option, but why can't we have walkable suburban areas without cars? Oh yeah, I've heard of that. It's horrible. Suburbs, are, oh, suburbs here are very walkable, and there's always small hubs where there are normal amenities that people need. I would hate to live somewhere where I can't walk. That reminds me. The amount of places I've seen in America that just don't have sidewalks is crazy. Like, you'll have just suburbs, and then just suddenly there's no sidewalk at all. We've seen that quite a bit in GeoGuessr. I think that's nuts. Also, footpath or sidewalk. I don't know which one you guys usually say, but I think people in New Zealand say footpath, but I say sidewalk. I think sidewalk is the American way. Oh! Oh, sorry. Oh. Hey. Depower. I don't know if you saw Depower's message. He asked if you get road rage. Oh, Depower. Who... Want to tell some stories about that? Oh, God. <laughs> Lee, has Gregor ever had road rage? Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> also, Anria, you going to head out? I have to get up really early tomorrow. Have a good one, Anria. Anria, take care. Sleep well. Um. Yeah, road rage. Goodness me. 
I there was a time when I went through a, a very angry part of my life. <laughs> And it was also around the time when I got banned from PayPal, so that probably had something to do with it. But, uh, man, where to even begin? It just makes me so mad, rem remembering all the... Ugh. Yeah, you know what I really hate? When people just do that break check shit, I mean, I think it's illegal, but that should be, like, jailable offense. That's, like, in my opinion, attempted manslaughter, I think. Um, Especially with the ones I've not even break check. It's like they literally grind to a complete standstill on the highway just to spite me, and to hope I guess someone that behind me hits me or something. It's bullshit. And especially this one person did it to me, and he had a he had the audacity to have a a peace symbol hanging from the rearview mirror as well. Oh man, I hate that guy so much. And I was I was like on the horn non-stop as well just to spite me you sound like a Karen oh no I'm not a Karen this is I this was back in my earlier days of driving when I still like gave a shit and now I just I've learned to like if you want to speed if you want to be crazy you go ahead just leave me out of it you do what it, you do you whereas back then I was just like I'm gonna show them what's what you know so this person like I, I uh was being really douchey and trying to like get in front of people and speed and stuff and i was already in the fast lane i was going like the speed limit maybe a little bit over but you know an irregular amount and uh he wanted to like get in front i can't remember trying to cut me off or something and i didn't let him and then that's when he got all berserk and then like complete did a complete uh stop on the highway in the fast lane against me Bullshit. Hate that guy so much. And it's also when I've learned that uh, doing a thumb, a sarcastic thumbs up to someone, they will either see it as a an offense or they'll see it as a middle finger because it kind of looks like a middle finger, you know, from a distance as well. Like, you know, from from my car, you see this. Because I was like, oh, good job. Like, yeah, you you sped and overtook me in a crazy, dangerous way just to like stop at the same red light as me. Whatever. And then that guy also did a, a brake check in front of me on the motorway. So annoying. Behind me was a big, like, 18-wheeler as well. It's bullshit. And then... Then I also hate the ones where... They... Like, what, what do you want me to do? You want me to break the speed limit? Like, they, they have all these crazy speed limits in the city right now, where you have to go 30. And they... Despite my multiple emails to the to the government to the council to mention hey if it's a new speed if it's a new speed sign maybe make it more apparent that there's a new speed limit rather than just like sticking a tiny little like 30 red circle you know half hidden by a tree at a weird location where people aren't actually looking because they have to do a turn anyway it's insane they have they have like temporary new speed signs that are flashing and shit for like uh if it's like a construction zone but they, they don't do the same thing when it's like a new speed limit for an entire new street or for an entire street in the city. And so when I'm going 30 or 35, everyone else is like, where are you going 35? It's 50 here. When it, it's not 50 anymore. It's been, it's been 30 for a long ass time now. Drives me up the wall. And this, this other guy. So that... This guy beeping at me and shit, and I was like doing the hand gestures, like, what do you want me to do? I'm going 35, it's a 30 zone. And then he kind of overtakes me a bit, and he's like on the, on the lane beside me, we're at a red light. Uh, and he, he rolls down his window, I roll down my window, and I'm like about to say, like, it's 30, and then he drives off. And oh boy, that pissed me off. Oh man, you got me good. He got me good, that guy. And it was actually because of that, I've, I've stopped caring as well. Like, I don't care anymore. I'm not, I'm not here to teach these people what the speed limit is. I'm doing me, they can do them. If they want to do some crazy ass shit, they can overtake me, whatever they want. The worst part is, is that I don't even agree with the speed limit in some places. I've really, I've really talked about this on stream before, but... Like, the 30 limit in the, in the city, I get, because there's a lot of students around, there's a lot of pedestrians, the crossing roads and stuff. But then there's like this other stretch of road 
where there's like really no reason for this limiting, except that there's a high school and apparently whatever. And oh, Beetle Moses is raiding. Look how angry I am. I'm so I'm so angry. I'm turning red. Beetle Moses, thank you so much for the for the massive raid. Excellent. Welcome everyone. Rollercoaster Tycoon Three, huh? How was that? Oh man, been a bit of a roller coaster of of emotions on stream right now. I was I was peacefully just drawing my comic here, and then the power asks me if I ever get road rage, and then now I'm like recounting. In 2020, we definitely focus on merch more and the book. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. A book yet, but still, it's still to come. No book yet, but still to come. New merch though today, actually. Thank you very much for the follow there, Gold Frappuccino. Um, so yeah, Beetle Moses, how are you doing? Monarco Rosado, hello, hello. Uh, Ofani Chan, hello, hello, welcome. Super Tux. I love Gregor raging about stupid people, load laugh, load lurk. <laughs> hey, Super Tux. Hope you're doing well. Trash, trash bins official, hello, hello. We're playing. I'm gonna change the song here. We were playing some roller coaster tycoon, and now I'm dizzy. You're dizzy, man. I get dizzy as well. What? Dizzy from just like playing generally, or were you in that preview mood where you're in the ride itself and you're going down the roller coaster? Because that would definitely make me throw up. Excuse me. Gonna make some dinner, but I'll be listening in. Hey, well, go go get your dinner. Go get your dinner. Go make your dinner. Have a good one. And thank you again for the raid. Yeah, well, yeah, we're, we're, we're supposed to be drawing a comic here. Uh, the comic is this in the background. So I'll just show it off panel by panel for people who are new, want to see it. There, there is a clip as well. Ah, hey, Kubo! Gotta focus. There you go. This one, this one. Oh, wait, hold on. So you like a loan for a home. Here are our financials. I see. Well, based on these numbers, there is one house you can afford. This one. Tap, tap. And then look at it. And then, boom, they're moving in. Super rough sketch, though. <laughs> you know, and then punchline, and everybody laughs. <laughs> Don't I always put an overview of the call comic on the left? Oh, yes. Thank you for the reminder. I will do the focus in a second. I guess I just haven't really stuck with that because I have such a small screen space on my iPad. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I need to optimize this. This space is not being used very well. Like this whole bar here is ridiculous. Can I move this somewhere else? Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. That's no good. Whatever. Uh, your circle cursor makes me think there's a spider. Oh, this thing. <laughs> Throws off the bots. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll focus. But wait, one more thing. So this is, so the inner city is 30k, okay? 30k limit, speed limit. And then there's another stretch of road, because it's next to a high school or something. They also made that 30k, even though that used to be 50k. And they even have a, a distinct red barrier where it says you're leaving 30 and you're entering not 30, right? Because they have this around the city. But now they have you're leaving 30 and you're entering 30. And it's just not clear as hell. And they put this stupid ass small speed sign in a stupid place where people can't see it because they're turning. And then everyone's like honking at me and flashing their lights because I'm going well below 50 when really I'm actually speeding because I'm going like 40 in a 30 zone. So frustrating. Anyway, and I've emailed them about that too. I've shown them screenshots. I've shown them screenshots of Google Street View, how, how not clear the signage is, and they just never get back to me. Oh, man. Okay. Anyways. Yeah, blame. This is all your fault, the power. You've unleashed, you've unleashed the beast within me. <laughs> okay. Let's focus. Uh, first, I would need to find a nice song. Uh... 
Oh, this is quite appropriate. Okay, let's do this. Oh, yeah, yeah. 30, when I say speed limits and stuff, it's always in kilometers per hour, not miles, because New Zealand. Okay, focus time. See you in five minutes. I'm going to try and not read the chat for five minutes. Let's do it. Focus mode. And that looks so broken. I got to fix that. Okay. Do not read chat. Yes, I will. I will not. Okay, goodbye. <clears throat> Focusing. There has got to be a way burning down the house. Five degrees burning down the house. <laughs> Burning down the house. My house. That's right. Burning down the house. Burning down the house. My house. Do 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 do. Oh, I hope I'm also I'm not out of sync as well. Hold on. I'm gonna pick another song. Uh. That's how the Beat Saber song starts. I don't know why I won't run away. Run away. Hmm, what the heck is happening here? Oh. I don't know why I'm that away. 
for another day mm, save your tears for another day hello hello hey comma code welcome back how are you doing how is japan gold frappuccino wait no sorry to power <laughs> Why did I? <laughs> I was reading the wrong name. Because it, it said Gold Frappuccino here before because they followed last time. But to power, thank you for finding that 30th spider. <laughs> and as your reward, you get a Golden Frappuccino. That's what I was trying to say. Like a trophy. the satisfying part of the song in the Beat Saber map. Hey, woods and goods. What's good? Fun fact, Gregor, the Beat Saber song is also a regular song. They made a regular version of the Beat Saber song? That's cool. It's cool that they put these Beat Saber songs in Spotify. Kamiko, Tokyo was all rainy last night, so I spent several hours walking around enjoying the views. Soaked my mobile Wi-Fi device, though. Oh, dear. Wait, how did you... Wait. You didn't have an umbrella? Are you just walking around in the complete... In the complete... Wet... Wet... Water... Air? Wet air? <laughs> but that sounds really nice. Man, I really miss just walking around Tokyo at night. Oh, and the daytime, but nighttime is like extra special. So jealous. Are there any Dragon Force songs in Beat Saber, like Fury of the Storm or Fire and Flames? Uh, there, they must definitely be fan versions of it. Not officially, but yeah, on the PC version is like, I don't. Uh, looking at the subreddit, it's insane how, how fast people can play Beat Saber. I don't, I don't understand myself. I don't like it when it's too fast. I like the swishy ones that have like swishy effects. You know, I find that very satisfying. I don't really want to be doing this. I don't really care about getting like a super high score like that. I just like to feel like badass. But then as long as I don't see myself because that shit was embarrassing <laughs> doing on stream. I had a raincoat. I thought my backpack was waterproof. It said it was waterproof, but it turns out there's a hidden pouch under the backpack I need to cover the pack with. Oh no. There's a hidden pouch under the backpack I need to cover the pack with. Oh, so there's only... Wait, a hidden pouch under the backpack. Wait, so that means there's only one little pocket that's waterproof? That sucks, Comic Code. <laughs> For a second, I thought you meant maybe, like, the waterproof sign was the part that was waterproof. <laughs> like, like, this little plastic rectangle, that's waterproof. You can get that soaked as much as you want. Oh man, your passport was all soaked? Oh boy. Damn, Komiko, that sucks. You'd have to go uh, like hunchback, Quasimodo mode. Quasimode. 
Quasimodo mode. You know, put the backpack under your raincoat. So you like walk around all like, Eh, eh. <laughs> Do you take Suica? <laughs> That's 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 what he had to go for. L looks be damned. Oh, Gregor, how silly does Lee look when she plays Beat Saber? Lee looks way cooler than, than I do when playing Beat Saber, which is why I thought I would look kind of badass as well. But no. But no, no, no. Apparently, I, I had no idea, but apparently I'm not really, like, as into it as I f think I am. Like, I thought I was like, whoa, whoa, cool. But apparently, I just look like I'm doing this. Like, really, like, awkwardly weak, you know? Whereas, like, I mean, x comic she gets really into it. And that's, that's why she's able to beat the songs left and right. I don't look awkward. I just look a bit bored. It's, that's my focusing face. I don't have time to make expressions and, and say expletives, expletives like you do. Man, you should hear the potty mouth on Exocomics when she's playing Beat Saber. <laughs> we heard her playing Mario Kart, so we have an idea. That's true, yes. The power you gotta leave? I all right, catch you later to power. Yeah, because the daylight savings has kicked in for you, right? Right? So everything is an hour later now for for some of you. Have a nice one. Update me on the game. Yes, thank you again to power for the uh for the switch game. Part-time UFO. I will look into it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take care. Hey, Klaus. Sorry I'm late again, Comic Daddy. <laughs> How are you doing? You can stuff your sorries in a sack, mister. Mm -hmm. Actually, I should make this... Ah, nah, screw it. I'm just going to go for it. Ah, no, I'm going to go for it. I'm just going to draw it on one layer. One layer. Let's do it. Oh, what have I done? Oops. Actually, hold on. This pan should be way bigger, I think. Eh. I think the sleeve could be a little bit bigger. There we go. Nice. Um, everyone should play Haven Park on the Switch too. It's my new favorite. Oh yeah, I mentioned I was mentioning that before that you were playing a new 
well, a new game to you called Haven Park on the Switch, and that it immediately made you cry because it was so cute. Can I stuff my sorrows in your sack? Oh, Jesus Christ. Guess who has a virus? What kind of virus, Klaus? Like a serious virus? Or like a medical virus? And Pinball Gamer, how you doing? A computer virus that hides... That hides is explorer.exe. <laughs> I don't even have explorer.exe. Wait, do I? No, I don't even have explorer. I'm on that directory opus, baby. Dopus. Because, uh, who was it? Was it Kaselia in the Discord? I forget now. Was it Kaselia? In the. Games and Tech Discord channel? Yeah, Case Elliot. Talking about how... Having stuff on the desktop affects your PC's performance. In Windows 10, moving your mouse anywhere left of the rightmost desktop icon causes Explorer.exe to fully take up one CPU core, doing nothing. And I don't mean moving your mouse over the other icons. Any empty area left of the rightmost icon slash folder will do. This does not occur if you don't have a bunch of crap on the desktop, as far as I can tell. Yeah, I don't... I tried doing that, but I don't have an explorer.exe. I still have it running for the desktop? Wait, how come I couldn't find it on the... I couldn't find it in my uh, processes. I only have Elgato under E. Hmm. Unless it called something else for me? I don't know. But yeah, start menu and, and your taskbar should still be Explorer. That, that is true. Windows Explorer. No. I have Windows Command Processor, Windows Logon, Windows IP over USB, Windows Wireless LAN, Windows Driver Foundation. When, when WMI provider host, Windows audio device graph isolation. Oh, Windows Explorer. <laughs> there it is. Wait, that wasn't coming up before. Unless I. Whatever. Okay, I do have Windows Explorer. Okay, never mind. But I guess the, the technical name is Explorer.exe, but the fancy name is Windows Explorer. Come on, good. I don't have any special virus software anymore. I just use Windows Defender. Seems good enough. Uh, same. I'm just trying to think. Does revealing what virus software I have make me vulnerable to potential hackers in the chat? No, I think I'm good. Yeah, all, all I have is Windows... Uh, whatever it's called. Windows Virus Bad EXE thingy. I already hacked you. Don't need to worry. Oh, good. I was only worried about if. <laughs> We're all inside your computer right now. Oh, God. Technically, that's true. You're on both screens as well. <laughs> You're talking to me through the computer. I have malware bytes. That sounds like a, a a robot STD. I've got malware bytes again, <laughs> and it's key, and it keeps alerting me that Explorer is trying to access a malware website every few minutes. Oh Jesus! Oh, so you actually do have a virus? <laughs> you know, actually, part of me was thinking, isn't it irresponsible of you to be in the chat knowing you have a virus? Like, <laughs> don't don't spread that shit to us. <laughs> But yeah, keep social social distance yourself. We don't want we don't want to catch that virus. Malware bite sounds like an edgy snack for a robot. <laughs> Flavor you can decode. No, debug. 
No. New and debugged. <laughs> ah, that doesn't make. That makes. I don't know. Um. Yeah, some I don't even trust antiviruses anymore because yeah, so many of them. Well, I say so many, but really, it's just is it like what Norton and then whatever. They're the ones that actually are the virus. It's like it's like a it's genius, really, of them to hide the virus inside the virus scanner. Smart. <laughs> Hidden in plain sight. But yeah, I like the Windows Defender thing. Simple and all good. But also, I think, yeah, most of it really comes down to just not clicking shady links. Although saying that, I did install a virus on the work computer on my first day. I have no idea how. Because I'm usually pretty good. I'm usually, I'm, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I'm usually pretty good about spotting, you know, fake, like, scams and links and stuff like that. And if it's a fake email or a scam website, I'm usually pretty good. But for some reason, on my first day at Gameloft, I installed a virus, and it wasn't really my fault. Well, the thing is, I installed Chrome, and I don't know how it happened, but right when I installed Chrome, this thing popped up. It said, hey, Chrome.exe wants to, you know, wants access to your computer. And I'm like, well, that makes a lot of sense. I just installed Chrome, so yes. And I click yes, and then, oh boy, everything started fucking up. So there was an awkward first day. Did you click one of the wrong green green land uh, green download buttons? I hate that stuff, right? Some websites when it's like download and it's just like download here, download now. And everything else is like a fake ad. There's like one real download link somewhere hidden in between all of those other download links. I hate that. But yeah, I don't know how I did it. Hey Tony. And Chuck Chan as well, welcome back. And Murdog, hello, hello. And Sapu. We had a ransomware virus at work once, which encrypted all of our files in exchange for Bitcoin. We said, aha, no problem, we make a backup every week. Fetch me the backup. Unfortunately, the receptionist who was making the backups didn't tell us that every time she did it, it said failed. Uh, and we tracked where the ransomware came from. Ironically, the same person opening an email link. Same person opening an email link. Wait, ironically, the same person opening an email link. Wait, wait, what does that mean? It came from within? Oh, the, the same receptionist. Oh, the receptionist opened an email link, which installed the ransomware, and you couldn't back up because the receptionist failed to back up. <laughs> Doesn't sound like the best employee, to be honest. <laughs> Jeez Louise, that sucks. That's scary. Um, I yeah, I'm pretty happy with my backup solutions. Um, wait, hold on. Oh yeah, this this side, this this side is the side that's yeah, that's the, no, wait, no, yeah, that's the side. Oh no, no. Wait, which, wait, hold on. Which side is stapled? Left, top left on the front. That's top left on the front, so that's top right on the back. This is the back, so this should be top right. This is the back, should be top right. Ah, I've, I've even sketched it and everything. A little staple there. Silly me. Let's make this tighter.
That looks okay. That is a good point. So why is the receptionist's job to make it? Whoa, whoa. Oh, my chair just went down because I, my foot touched the lever. That was scary. I had my foot resting on the, the we the what's it called the legs the wheel legs, and then I I rotated my chair and then the lever glided against my muscular foot and then it lowered the chair. Well, that was scary. I could have almost bit my tongue off. Um, anyway, but yeah, that's a good point. Why is the receptionist in charge of making backups in the first place? Yeah, but we had no IT and I don't work there anymore, so what are you going to do? Fair enough. Her office was next to the server and we had no IT department. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to see how the ransomware got in, yeah. That's, that's scary, though. Ransomware stuff. That's like Blade Runner stuff. It's kind of wild. Technological, like modern. If piracy, if piracy wasn't a thing, I mean, in terms of like downloading illegal stuff, that would be considered piracy. Because isn't that what pirates do? Like they take over like a freight ship and then like for ransom and stuff. But unfortunately, we already we already use the term piracy for uh, copied goods. Good word. So I think I don't know. I feel like piracy suits the ransomware stuff more than it does. Downloading copied stuff. I don't really know why it's called piracy to begin with. Get rid of the chair and just get a standing desk? Mm. No, I like sitting down. <laughs> sitting is good. But I do recognize that standing desks are supposed to be healthier. Yeah, I mean, I'm not against it. If I had a standing desk, I would definitely use it. But I don't. Maybe in the future, that could be something. Once, once I start developing back problems, then I'll look into it. <laughs> that looks right. Uh, class, we plugged a router into the network once so we could make our own Wi-Fi. I named the Wi-Fi with the name of the company next door, so it wasn't suspicious. But they found the router and they weren't very happy. Wait, who? What the hell? What's going on? At your old work, you plugged in your own router so you didn't have to use the work Wi-Fi? Wait, how does this work? I don't understand how it works. <laughs> Company I work for found I routed. So you didn't you wanted to use Oh, you weren't even allowed Wi-Fi. Oh, I see. I thought it was more just like you wanted to watch porn at work, but the, but because of that pesky company firewall. <laughs> so we made our own from a network port. Oh man. We watched movies. 
Well, I'm surprised that the, the ransomware even had any work to hold ransom to begin with. <laughs> Seems like it's just a constant party over there. Oh, yeah, Tony, yeah. Movies. Barbie. Hey, the, the orange bot. Orange bot with an orange cat on its head. Thank you for the follow. Oops. Oh, yeah. Now I'm playing Need for Speed on the ground. With the song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um... Not really quite. It looks a little slanty, a little too leany. Let me just fix up some of these shapes. That looks okay, though. Everything else looks fine. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, all they had to do was keep updating the Underground franchise and they would have kept Need for Speed going. None of them have been as good as Need for Speed Underground 2. Although I did love the drag racing from 1. From Need for Speed Underground 1? Oh, did they not have drag racing in the second one? I, I get the two confused. I played the second one a lot more because yeah, the first one did the first one even have uh an open world? Can't remember now. But I remember playing the second one a lot. Loved it. The first one was more menu based, the second one was open. Yes, that's right. Yeah, the second one was awesome. Need to speed underground too. One of my favorite games growing up. And that's drag racing with cars, just to clarify. That would be an interesting spin-off show. Like Ru RuPaul's Drag Racing. <laughs> just in time for the Olympics. I'd watch that. Did they make an Underground 3 at all? No. They made... They made... Uh, Need for Speed Heat? And then recently they made Need for Speed Unbound. I think yeah, Need for Speed Unbound is supposed to be like their underground sequel. Which I'm pretty sure is why they even called it Unbound, because it sounds like underground. But it isn't. Which I think is pretty clever. I enjoyed playing Need for Speed Unbound. I like this, the art style and everything. And all the, the cool effects. I had, a, I had a really good time playing it. Didn't finish it, but then again, that's not that's not really new for me. I never really finished games, but I had a good time with it. Yeah, I can't even really remember what it was about Underground 2 I liked so much that I miss from the new ones.
I wonder if a part of it is just because I've I've lost my sense of whimsy. My childhood whimsiness. That's gone. Mm. Oh yeah, actually that's another good the music in Unbound, you didn't like it, Shayita? Yeah. The music in Underground 2, I loved. I mean, as you can tell from this song we're listening to right now, which I think is goddamn, I can't remember now if it's from one or two, but either way. The music from the new Unbound ain't my thing. But I don't know. I guess just. I guess it's just. I don't know. The world moving forward, moving onward to different colored grass. I was going to say bluegrass, but that's actually a music genre, and that's not what, what, what they have in Need for Speed Unbound. Say, like, purple grass. I don't know. I mean, that sounds like a drug. Uh, well, what color? Well, it can't be green grass because that's normal. Need for Speed Underground 2 music is green grass. The Unbound music is. Magenta. Magenta grass. This song was from Underground 2. Oh, good. Thank you for the clarification. Clarification. Um. Need for Speed Underground 2 had the car customization with the neon lights and the crazy stereo systems, all the stuff we got in Fast and Furious, but in video game form. Uh, but that's the thing. They, they actually do have that stuff in Unbound. I don't know about speakers, crazy stereo systems, but I'm... They have, like, the lights, and they got the custom modded cars, and you can even put, like, sticker decals in any way you want, and any shape and stuff. That's pretty, pretty, uh... Pretty advanced stuff but they definitely have like flashy lights and all that stuff yeah no i i had a good time with it it was on is still on game pass i'm pretty sure and i, I love the menu look like the the look the, the style of the menus oh it's so polished and well done i think i know people are probably gonna hate what I'm saying because everyone loves to hate Need for Speed games, but I thought I thought they did a good job. But yeah, I'm not like a hardcore Need for Speed fan or anything. I'm just trying to... And I like the more playful art style they have going on. I don't know why people don't like the cool effects. I think it, I think it adds something to it. It's neat. Uh, let's see, what if I say just like menu? Yeah. Just like the look of the menu is so cool and so seamless. Like, oh yeah, this. I mean, it doesn't really do it justice seeing a screenshot. You really got to see it in action, but like it's all 3D and like the lighting effects and then like the background is like this big LCD screen thing. And it's just like all, all the like writing and stuff pops up in the background and then it reflects on the ground as well. It's very slick. In fact, hold on, let me just let me just let me just see if I can I know like a short video. I'm I'm feeling okay to get distracted a little bit because we did do quite a lot of work so far. <laughs> uh wait, hold on. Congrats on that spider, Klaus. Oh wait, all of this is really just showing the music from the main menus. So I don't really want the music at all. Wait, is this... No. Not that. I guess I should just look up... Wait, hold on, let me just look up Need for Speed Un Unbound. Review. It'll just show some gameplay and shit. 
All right. Okay. Uh, here we go. Let's see. Menus. Okay. I know the, the character styles don't gel with a lot of people, but I don't care about the... I never cared about characters in, in these games. But see the background? The background is so cool! And you can, like, rotate the camera and everything? I love the background. It has its owned, and then if it's locked or something... Just a cool little detail. These are all the effects that can happen when you do some stuff. Uh, yada yada yada. Show me more menus. I don't care about the gameplay. Uh, oh, oh, here we go. Okay, yada 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 yada. Come on, there we go. Like even just like when it pops, and then that little like. These little like lines come up and just yeah, kind of reminds me of, like Spider Verse or something. It's neat. It's cool. I like it. Um, and like yeah, and the car like drops down, and, and this is like the main menu that's outside of the game. It has like this cool little looping thing of rain on the puddles. I thought that was quite nice. Although, if you look at it too long, you can realize that the, the, the raindrops just loop, which kind of kills the immersion. See, if you look at the raindrops, they never actually change position. They just kind of happen again and again in the same place. See? Not a big deal. <laughs> Not a big deal, but just something... Once you see it, you just can't unsee it. But whatever. Uh, and then... Let's see. Yeah. Character selection. Meh. Whatever. But yeah, like, you can do all sorts of crazy stuff. I mean, that's very underground-esque, no? Anyway. Yeah, I, I'd, say, I'd say give it a shot. If you're, if you're itching for an underground kind of Need for Speed game, that's like the closest you're going to get. I think. And I thought they did a good job. What do I think of Spider-Verse? Oh, I love the Spider-Verse movies. Uh, I like the first one more than the second one. Mainly because I thought the first one was funnier. And I feel like the second one, like, almost like, it's just too much is going on. My old brain can't keep up with, with everything that's happening on screen. But damn, it's beautiful for sure. Can't fault that. And the music is phenomenal in Spider-Verse. It's like using instruments I've never even heard before. Actually, let's play some of that right now. It's like, it sounds like... Like, it sounds like that. I don't know, it's like a synth, a synth trombone, if I had to guess. Uh... It's actually not, it's not the, it's, it's like the, it's always, wait, how do I find this? Is this even on Spotify? Because I, I want the orchestral stuff. Oh, here we go. Is this it? Yes, this is it. The original score. Oh, I also, I'm missing some chat. I'm sorry. Uh, Shayida, I also thought it might not just be my music or tastes that have moved on with time, but it's actually just bad in the game. I've heard contemporary music that I liked, but this was not it. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. I uh, agree. I also wish they had more range of music. I feel like they only had one style of songs in the new Unbound game, whereas I feel like in the original Underground soundtrack, they had, like, all sorts. They had, like... uh. Little John, Snoop Dogg, the the Doors remix, next to Rise Against, like it was like all over the place. But I I liked it, nice variation. But yeah, um, um, come on, I've always pronounced decal as decil for many years until someone corrected me. I still don't know what the correct way of saying it is. Decal. Decal? Decal? 
Thistle? I'm not sure. I like to say decal. Sounds like the less, the least wrong. Anyway, here's Spider Verse music. Let's listen. I don't know which song it is. It's not this. It's it's this one, I think. That 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 sound. What is that? It sounds like like Skrillex meets a mosquito or something. That Miskrillex, so Miskrillo, Miskrilto. <laughs> I don't know, but you know what I mean. Let's keep listening. Spooky. <laughs> If I wanted to join a club of one, I would go to my bedroom. <laughs> Way to add more sound effects to the song. Uh, it's a modulated elephant. Elephant sound, apparently. Oh. Huh. There's a video of the composer messing with some synth stuff and passing an elephant through it. Weird. That's cool. Also, oh man, thank you for the hydration. I'm needing it. My throat is dry. Ah, uh, much appreciated, Mary. This is an elephant? Gotta get some Spider-Verse pictures in the background. Damn, Avaris Clary gifting a sub to Ep314. Thank you so much, Avaris Clary. And that is also unlocking a Draw Them Words. <gasps> much appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's do it. Wait, one more time. Let's listen to this. Very cool. All right, let's all right. Let's go. Let's go. Um, here we go. Awesome. Um, add your word. You got one minute to do. It. I think that might be it for today's stream as well. After this. Which is perfect. So thank you again, Avaris Clive, for uh, getting us over the hill for the last Draw Them Words. Perfectly timed. Wait, why is there a w hey, what? <laughs> what? Why did I draw a word? That's bizarre. I have no idea why. <laughs> Strike, what have you done? Strike, you've left your hacks on. <laughs> okay, I don't know how this works now. I hope by pushing this button, it's just gonna... <laughs> Pretend like this never happened. Weird. Thank you for the. Uh, I I feel I feel rich with words. I've got forty eight of them. So thank you very much, everyone. The words are. If it chooses bizarre, I won't know what to think. <coughs> Chimney, orange, sheep. Oof. Chimney, orange, sheep. Chimney, orange, sheep. Okay. I have an idea. Do you? Let's draw this in five minutes. 
If you want to draw along, feel free to. I'll make a Discord thread afterwards where you can share it. Um, let's go now. No. 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 Wait, hold on, let me pause the timer while I choose a good song. I'm in the Spider-Verse soundtrack. Is this going to be a good one? This one has 10 million listens. That's scary. Okay, how about this one? New Nova York train chase. This should be kind of this should fit the vibe of drawing chimney orange sheep for five minutes. Hey, rain PNG. Hello, hello. Okay, let's start. Ninety eight seconds.
60 seconds. Fourteen seconds. Signs up now. All right, then. Chimney orange sheep. Wait for the crescendo of the song. There we go. Oh, song's still going for another five seconds. Eh, oh gosh. <laughs> and I ruined it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. I hope you like it. That is the, um... Final draw the words of the day. Chimney orange sheep. Um uh, why do the sheep have peg legs? This is what sheep legs look like. This is uh medicinally and physically and chemically correct. Look it up. If you look up sheep in the dictionary, you'll look, in an orange dictionary, you'll see it looks like this. Oh, and also biologi biologically as well. What <laughs> physically and chemistry? Yes, chemically and physically. But mainly biologically, uh, they look like this. So, <clears throat> also, big white bear reinstalling Twitch on Android to have fixed the tier multiplier multiplayer issue I was having. It fixed it. Reinstalling it on Android. Nice. Good to hear that something got fixed for once. Excellent. Let me export this. Mm -mm -mm. That song was intense. Almost too intense for what I was drawing, but I liked it. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, it's going to be in the Discord now. So if you've made your own, feel f uh, get ready to share it. Post yours. Okay, it's in the Discord. Everything gets super wet when it's in my mouth. <laughs> Ah, uh, hey, Psycho Manatee, I'm watching this in public. You better not be showing anything weird on stream. Well, actually, now is the time we'll be showing off people's attempts at these three words, so it's probably going to get kind of strange. Uh, probably going to have some Lola Bunny stuff, maybe. Especially if the, if the, if the AI stuff <laughs> gets posted, but we'll see. How are you doing, Psycho Manatee? How are you doing? And, um... Uh, Carl Satura. It's like Sheep in the Big City, that old cartoon. Sheep in the Big City? What's that? Is that like a spinoff of Sex in the City? Sheep in the Big City. Oh, I mean, Pig in the City? No, Sheep. What? What is it called? Sheep in the... What now? Sheep in the Big City. Oh, this thing. I completely forgot about this thing. Um... Wait, do I have? I'm not going to show it just yet because I'm, I'm worried that it's going to break something because I don't have Chrome in this scene. I should have Chrome in this scene, but I don't. But I'll, I'll show you sheep in the big city after this. But first, we... <laughs> what the hell is this? Uh, Avaris Clary. There we go. Avaris Clary has, a, has something here. Uh, and that something is, where is my button? Is this. So we have chimney, orange, sheep. Is a chim, that red thing is a chimney. 
Oh, oh, I see. The sheep's body is an orange. And then there's the sheep head and the sheep legs as well. It's a sheep made of an orange that has a chimney on it as well. I mean, that checks all the boxes. I was like, <laughs> so the dot for an eye you have, if you think about all the other dots, are just more eyes? That gets even more disturbing. <laughs> Imagine if they all start blinking. Anyway, thank you for that, Avaris Clara, and thanks again for the draw them words opportunity as well for getting us over the edge. And oh dear God, um, oh my lord, Yoyoto. Okay, Psychomanity, if you're watching this in public and you don't want to be labeled as like a Lola Bunny kink admirer, then you should hide your phone right now because <clears throat> we got this. So Chimney Orange Sheep, I don't know where am I? Is that a chimney in my pants or am I just stocking up for the winter? <laughs> or is my crotch on fire? What's going on? But anyway, Lola Bunny is dressed as a sheep in one of them and then dressed in an orange dress and then there's a chimney somewhere in this. Is there, is there a spider? Are we doing the spiders in this thing? I can't tell now. Can't tell. No spiders. Okay, thank you for, for your honesty. You gotta... Uh... <laughs> I'll say this one. Um, there's a sheep behind Lola Bunny doing just sheep stuff, I think, but Lola Bunny is blushing about it, and one of her spikes is melting on her collar. And there's a chimney in the background. Okay. Jesus Christ. And then we also have these ones. These, they look like they're drugged a bit. They kind of... Why do they look like Pokemon trainers? Especially the one on the left. Uh, oh, it's a lamb as well. These aren't even... That's not even a bunny, it's a lamb. Oh my god, Lola Lamb. The knees are red. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't see the chimney here. But... I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Wait, lambs are different than sheep? No, lambs are just young sheep. Are they not? Sheep, sheep, sheep children. Which is something I discovered way late in my life. Now I don't eat lamb anymore because it's like, it feels a little harsh eating children sheep. But nobody likes mutton, apparently. Anyways. Anyways, let's uh, hide this for now. Thank you, Yoda. Oh god, that's it. That's all we have. Ah! We got, we got a virus Clary's one, and then this one. Beautiful. Anyways, thank you very much, everyone. That is lunchtime now. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. All right, so this is the sheep in the big city. Can I, I, I barely even remember what this is. I assume it's a cartoon, but for some reason, as soon as I saw it, I was like, it just unlocked a really old, frozen memory in my head. Why is his eyes green? It's very strange. But anyways, thank you, thank you, thank you. Might draw it for this prompt later. Hey, well, I look forward to it, Psycho Manity. Looking forward to it. And uh, thank you for dropping by. And, uh... That's it. That's it. I'll see you tomorrow. Today is sexy <laughs> Santa time. I'll see you tomorrow because today is sexy Santa time. Ending with the song. Eh. 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 And uh, we'll also be raiding as well. So if you want to earn some extra channel points, some extra bees, stick around for the raid. Uh, pass on the loading eyes love. Uh, who is, what, who should we raid? Oh, gosh. Um, um, oh, lordy. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, let's, let's raid, let's go raid, um, let's go raid Babe Ross. The thumbnail is a very disturbing, it's a Furby. But made out of 
flesh and wearing that green thong that Borat wears. <laughs> Unless I'm misinterpreting the thumbnail. I'm not sure. I think that's what Babe Ross is currently painting. So let's go. Uh, let's go pass on. The loading eyes. Hey, whoops. Raid babe, ah, babe Ross. No. Raid Babe Ross. Three S's. Okay, cool. So let's go send Babe Ross some loading eyes love, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's stream where we'll continue to get distracted and continue the comic. Thank you, thank you. Oh, check out the new merch in the new shop. In the shop. Check out the shop. There's a sale going on. A new design. Another day, another tuna. Goodbye.